So I didn't record the first part of this, thought I'd get stuck in and get it done, but we're working on the white car at the moment. The problem is, and I've had it the whole time, is there is a burning oil smell that my wife hates that I've been trying to solve the whole time I've owned this car. I started at the front of the car and worked my way all the way back, identified all the areas that were leaking because it's a Subaru, things leak. Uh, we have done the rocker cover gaskets. However, both sides, I didn't do RTV all the way around. I've redone that side. I assumed it might've been this side because there's the turbo and all the hot stuff here. The exhaust manifold comes around here. So I've redone that side, that didn't solve it. I need to redo this side anyway. So she sits in the passenger seat there. When you open the door after the car's been running and stick your head down in the footwell, that's where the smell sort of accumulates. Now, when I drive, I have the driver's side window cracked. And so perhaps the smell is coming from that side in the window and then that's like, the low pressure area that it all congregates. The tricky thing is working out where the smell is coming from. You've got an exhaust manifold that comes down here, around here and up here. You've then got a very hot turbo and an exhaust. The reason I've taken the radiator out is I thought that there might have been an oil leak from behind one of the cam seals. So I took the radiator out, I took these two covers off uh, and I'm pretty confident that the cam seals aren't leaking, so that's good. There was a little bit of oil at the bottom of this cam cover, but it, uh, the next thing is, I don't know whether you can see because there's so many hoses, but these two power steering hoses here, oh yeah, one comes off here, and then the other one attaches here. I've just got this so that it doesn't leak anywhere. But there was a bit of a leak on those two hoses. So what I've got here, that sits in the front there. I've also cleaned this up. I've actually decided to replace these hoses because there was a lot of crap around here. And then it could have been potentially leaking from the ends here. These two hoses are brand new. That sits there like that. That actually bolts in just there. So yeah, potentially if it was leaking there, it could have dripped down and that could have been what the cam cover thing was. Being less likely, I wondered if this was leaking and it was blowing past here, but then you would get, you know, there'd be crap all down there or something. So I don't think that's it, but basically we are doing operation fix everything. The next thing. So this here is the seal for the oil cooler. A bit hard to see. So if we look under here, there's the oil cooler between the filter and the block. But in behind there, there was a bit of, I guess, oil residue and black uh, burnt off looking stuff. So that's what that's for. There's a part number. The next section I identified was just under, at the bottom of the engine. I'm not gonna go crawling under there, but at the back of the pan. I checked the oil pan bolts and they weren't as tight as they could possibly be. On the back of the engine here, you can see where the gearbox attaches, there is a plate called the oil separation plate. That can leak and leak down the back of your engine, as can the rear main seal, which is where the clutch goes. Uh, the gentleman who I bought it off had the heads refreshed, uh, new head gaskets, I, d I don't know, and that's a very tricky one to get to. We can do all that stuff when the clutch needs replacing. So the next thing is the gearbox has always leaked. All right, so we're upside down in the car now. The first thing that I changed was this output drive shaft seal. It was leaking from there uh, and all under here was covered in oil and it's actually not too bad now but then also it's pretty hard to see but up there there's a shaft that the shifter goes into the gearbox and you can see the back of the gearbox here i had to undo all this take the back of the gearbox off and change the shifter input shaft seal which is up there that still has a minor leak. No, 
it's too hard to see. It's quite tricky to see under here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so up there is the shifter input seal. And there's been a f bit of oil around here. And I'm wondering if, if I've put enough gasket material when I close these two halves up because there was oil on this bolt here and there was oil on here. But see this part, this piece here? See how it's all oily? It's right next to the exhaust, but I don't know. It's, I wouldn't have thought that this area would be as bad as up there in the engine bay. Typically, if you read online, they say that, you know, it's something up in the engine bay. But I don't know, it's, it's a tough one. Okay, so finally up the back here, this diff side seal was leaking. And so all this part of the diff was covered in oil. Now I also recently replaced that seal. So that's what you get owning a Subaru. What I'm gonna to have to do is fix what I can and then start at the front with the engine oil. I've got some dye I'm gonna put in there and uh, I'll use the dye. Actually, there is one more thing that I just discovered. Down in here, see how it's, it's all black? What you've got, it's a bit hard to see, but you've got this hose goes down into a breather that comes out of the block. And then you've then got this hose that has a hose clamp that goes into the back of the manifold onto the PCV valve. And there seems to be a lot of oil down in here. And if you have a look, if there's oil leaking here and it blows back, just ignore that oil there. That is, that's from when I checked, checked the dipstick, but this, you would imagine that this area here is like one of the hottest areas. So I'm wondering if it's something in and around here. I think the plan of attack is going to be to put the eBay turbo back on because this turbo has a bit of shaft play in it and wait till I can afford to rebuild it uh, because this, it has a lot of blow by. I've got this 20G that I bought off eBay. Now, what freaked me out was when I first bought this, there was no play whatsoever. But after about three months of running, it's got some up and down play. There's no in and out play, which is, is the bad one. Uh, and after doing some research and based on the comments from my other videos, the up and down play is just fine. I've actually got a Killer B alloy inlet that we might also put on there. But yeah, we might chuck this back on because that turbo could be leaking oil through the seals. It might not be blow by at all. It's all done now. Uh, I ended up replacing all four cam seals and the front crankshaft seal. The front main seal, you couldn't see any of the UV dye whatsoever, but it looked like there was a bit of buildup of kind of greasy sort of stuff around it. And then the, on the front of the engine, there's like two plugs. One looked like it was weeping and I checked it for tight and it wasn't quite tight enough. So I just tightened that one up. I didn't bother. Also, the oil around that didn't show up with the UV light. That sort of indicates to me is not very recent. We have done valve cover gaskets twice. The cam seals, the main seal, uh, oil pump and oil pump o-ring. Oh gosh, what else did we do? Oil cooler Modine. There was a leak at the back of the gearbox, which I've already fixed once before. Um, and so it's a bit hard to see, but no, you can't see it. So basically up the front here, there's a leak at the front of the engine somewhere and it's dripping on the headers. And all of the stuff that I've done so far hasn't solved it. 
What I think it is, is the cam caps. But what that means is I have to do both the valve cover gaskets off again, all the timing gear off again, and then take four cam caps off. So I'll show you what I mean uh, here. So that tonight when it's dark, I can have a better look with the UV torch because I put UV dye in the oil. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for oil. So you can't quite see on camera, but there looks like there's a bit of oil on the back of this, but I'm trying to work out where the oil's coming from. So we continue. So I guess it's time to wrap this up. Occasionally it still makes the smell. Absolutely occasionally. It's a different day now. Sorry if you thought that was gonna be the end of the video. The car is still making the smell. I've actually rewrapped the headers and uh, that didn't help. What I do have to do, see that leak up there? The green bit that I'm shining the torch at. I've got those hoses to replace. What else have we got to do? Oh yeah, see those two hoses there? There's a little bit of a leak, so I've got to fix that too. So what else is leaking is the diff. Now I sprayed it down before. See the oil up there? It's leaking from the side seal and it's actually doing it on this side as well. It's a bit hard to see, but that's the exhaust right there. I have actually replaced that seal there twice now. This diff is a viscous LSD, so limited slip diff, out of a Outback, but it uses the same viscous center as a version 5 FCI. I'm wondering if the breather is not working properly. I was talking to my mate Chris last night and he said, Check to see if my intercooler was filled with oil. Intercooler is off. Let's see if it's full of oil. And as you can see, this could be the problem. Let's hope so. That is how much oil was in the intercooler. All right, so on that diff in the car, this is the fill plug. And I actually couldn't get it undone so I'd filled the diff via the axle port. It's leaking out of here on both sides. And I thought that it might be this breather that you can't get to when the diff is in the car. But I managed to get this open. And if you have a look, bottom edge of this wood is about where I filled it to. And that is up to here on the fill plug. So when I pulled the fill plug out, it actually dropped a whole bunch of oil. I reckon the diff issue, I've overfilled the diff with oil. And I sort of suspected that because I've replaced that left-hand side twice. Well, after all that, it's finally fixed. So it turns out it was the diff. Yeah, it was the diff. I'd overfilled it and unfortunately it had been leaking ever since I'd put the diff in, which was a very long time ago. It was really good to get all those other bits and pieces fixed uh, because they would have needed doing anyway. I guess if you guys have any questions about burning oil smells or leaks on your car, feel free to hit me up because I've basically fixed every kind of possible leak there can be on a WRX. Apart from a head gasket. I guess it's time to say thanks for watching. Um, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you thought the video has been helpful, maybe give me a like and, uh, maybe click subscribe because now that we've got this thing sorted, maybe we can finally get the engine in the blue car. I'll have some more updates with that soon as well. So thanks for watching and, uh, see you later.